Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Valhelsia 2. It's your boy here, Super Turtle. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. Guys, last episode we set up our refined storage system here. And check this out. While off camera, I was able to get 164k drive in here. Guys, for the month of July, we will be celebrating our 5k special. So that means we have 5k shirts as shown on screen. You guys should go check those out. Link down below. It will be the first link. Check that out because these guys are disappearing as soon as Jan July is over. So make sure you get one. It is amazing. I've also got another three. So we could actually, oops, we could actually go ahead, hit uses on this. Do we have enough? We don't. Okay, so we're, we're kind of low on diamonds here. I think I only have about four. I have two diamonds. Just kidding. Two diamonds. So we definitely need to uh, be careful about that. And to do that, we need to get ready to have our quarry running every once in a while. Because uh, right now it's just basically pumping into this chest here. I'm coming, grabbing some, some ores every once in a while. And I'm like, okay, I got it all. And then I come here and I just let these guys kind of pump their items over here. And they kind of just go through them one by one. Um, so we're, I'm done doing that. I We are ready to get ready for that today. So in a way, we're going to be moving this and actually upgrading this a whole heck ton. Uh, but first, we need to go ahead and actually get these in there. Let's go ahead and do that iron next. We've got some gold in here. Osmium isn't supposed to make its way into here. Unfortunately, it did, but we'll be able to fix that today. Oh, and another thing, guys. I found out how to get rid of our string problem. So if we put our flax, uh, flax seeds in here... Uh, these are these guys are found everywhere in the world that from my world anyway. Uh, they give you this flax fiber, right? And then when you combine this together, you get flax string. Now this can be used for our uh, conduit binder, I believe it's called, right? There it was this guy processor binder binding. So yeah, so that's our alternative to doing that. So maybe another day we can go ahead and just set up like a bunch of these pumping into one. Uh, like big storage drawer with like max emerald upgrades and then that will be where we get all of our string from and all that it could be really cool but let's go ahead here um, we need to make up some basic logistical transporter uh, cables basically uh, these uh, pump the fluid for us uh, we do need to go ahead and crush this we can just go ahead and do that um, Oh, the redstone thing was on. Whoops. Okay. Okay, so we have a few of these made up. We just need these basic uh, control circuits here. Uh, we can make up half a stack of those. Now, to upgrade these into the tier two, yeah, so just a bunch of these surrounded one of those guys. Uh, yeah, so to get these, I believe it's iron correct. All right, now are we processing up some iron? We sure are. Let's get this osmium out of here. And we'll get those into there. Perfect. Okay. So we can start to go ahead and make some more of these advanced logistical, logistical thingamabobbers. All right. So we got the, uh, the advanced logistical transporters made, which is good. We'll be using those here pretty soon. Um, these transfer heat. That's pretty neat. Okay. So I don't actually, I've never used these before, so we'll give them a shot. But we need to go ahead and start making up some smelting. Yeah, this guy here, we're going to need to make some more of these. Uh, we need some more of you. Perfect. We can make two more. Perfect. Let's go ahead here. We need some more glass. That is okay. Woo! That was terrible. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, so we're going to get both of these guys up to tier two. Um, oops, not that one. We're not that rich yet. All right. All right. And then the next one, which is with that, we should have some here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get those in there. All right. Now tier two. Oh, no. We're missing some. Okay, yeah, we're still we're still doing iron. That's good. I was about to say, I was like, oh no, we're out of all, we're out of iron, but we still got quite a few left. Um, we burned through a lot of iron recently. 
Yeah, look at that. We've only got 19 in here left. Okay, so we got the what we needed for those. Okay, so we just need a total of three more. Okay, we got the remaining three. Perfect. Cool. So we got two tier twos of the smelting factory, which is going to be the second part of the process. I just had an idea of how to make this look pretty cool. All right, so we'll just have, I'll show you guys. We'll just have a layer kind of doing this. And so our, our stuff will be within here. And we will have a smelter every other like that. So advanced smelting factory, advanced smelting factory. Perfect. This is going to be our processing side. Okay. Now we need, I think it's the enrichment factory infusing. Yeah, osmium into two. Okay, so we need some of these. Okay, we're going to require more steel, which is kind of sad. Okay. All right, so we only got one advanced enriching factory. So we can just go ahead and place that here. Um, let's just make sure. Input. Okay, that connected. Output. That connected. Um, we're going to do power from the top on this one. We're going to do power from the bottom on this one. And then we're going to be exporting out the back and taking in from the back. So back here. So it goes foop, like just like that. So we can set this one up to do the same. So importing out the top, power at the bottom. Outputting out the back. Perfect. All right. Got the remaining ones that we need. Not, not you. Perfect. We'll get this guy all configured as well. All right. Output the bottom. Input the back. Power up top. Beautiful. Okay, so these should be all set up to work here. Um, we'll get these set to auto sort. So these are as quick as possible. Very cool, very cool. Bam. Okay, now we just need to run some power over here, which is going to require more steel, which is something we don't have. Got some more of these. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we need to make two importers. Uh, so, okay, so we need to make some processors. All right. Make up some of those. And then we're going to need one of these. So we need to make up the basic processors as well. Look at that. Look how quick this is. It's amazing. These are all done after they're smelted. So, yep, we should see these guys start to pile in. And then once this finishes, yep, it'll bounce back out. Perfect. Uh, we're kind of running low on power there. Ooh, we're running low. On, is it nighttime? Oh, it's nighttime. We got as we got to sleep. Might need to flip the reactor on for a little bit just to get caught up. Okay, those are working. There we go. Look at that. We already got our power rocking and rolling again. Beautiful. Now, it might be just because we can't get this out of here fast enough. Because uh, these produce 109 FE per tick, which isn't bad. And these transport 1.K. Okay, so these are fine. Uh, but we are going to need this running for a little bit, which we should be good. I would like to get one or two windmills going from mechanism just so we can have power running at all times. But we should be okay. Let's check here. Yeah, look at that. We're back up in good power. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
would be cool to set it up so that when this runs out of power, because this is our battery bank, when this runs out of power, um, it would kick the, the generator back on, or the core, or that thing. You know what I mean? We could set that up. Okay. We got the cable running over to it. We got this. We got the bottom one. We got two of those. Okay, we got those two. Perfect. Let's go on back here. Oh, oof. Perfect. Okay, those are connected. Need some more of these. Whoops. All right. And then we might as well just have some exporters on the back here. And I actually think it would be better if we ran our cable. Okay, we got the cable ran over to here. Um, so we just go like that. Those two should be actually connected now. Yeah. Then we fill that in. So those two are online, beautiful. Let's see here. Importer, yep, we got those. Look at 67 FE per tick. Now we do need to go ahead and get some more crafters up and rocking for the, or no, export, export. So whenever these come into the system, we gotta push them out. Okay. Bam, okay, so those are set up. Now, all we need to do is get power to these guys. Now, I actually think maybe the right side just running down here with some power would be the best bet. All right, here's our access point. Okay, so all we got to do is just run cable over to here and down, and these are connected and ready to rock. Now, I do want to go ahead and also get some, um, some of the... Whatchamacallit? I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get this cable ran over here. Got some more energy cable. Bam, look at that, we got power. Bam, bam, bam. Now we can always just go ahead and seal it up. Like if we really didn't want to see it, we could just do that. Uh, but I actually think it'll look pretty cool. Ah, that, not like that, not like, okay. Yep, these have power, cool. So now all we need to do is set up the export for the ores. Do I have any ores on me? Sorry, not. don't type in ores, okay. What they're gonna do, osmium. We're gonna do some tin and some silver and we will set these up on both of them. Actually, we can do copper too, very cool. Okay. So if we go like this to the exporter, bam. Look at that. It's automatically sorting that for us. Oh, it's so great. Auto smeltage. Now do these. Auto eject off. Auto eject on. Okay, so that does work okay when these get smelted boom they are in our me or not an me system our refined storage system yes this is all automated this is amazing and they're not slow either we can upgrade these very easily okay we're out of room here those start to go we need to get the energy upgrades on these right away but yeah, we have replaced this system here. Let's make sure that all of the items that we're exporting here are there. Very cool. Now, I hope there's a capacity card that we can do, like a capacity upgrade. There might not be, so we, we might have to just split up the ores between the two. Um, just do half of them on this one, half of them on this one. Do some speed upgrades, especially on those smelters because they're kind of holding everything up. But uh, let's have a look here. So this is the efficiency upgrade. This is the speed upgrade. So the energy upgrade is like that. 
can make two of them. Very cool. So we can make uh, these, because these are going to be doing a lot of work. We can make these more energy efficient. So 14.99 FE per tick. That's what they're doing. These guys up here, 20 FE. Okay. So we are definitely improving it every time we create one of these, which is awesome. But yeah, this is almost been rendered useless now. Um, just set up iron ore when I get some, but I think we're going to go ahead and tear this down. I mean, this thing has served us extremely well, but it is time for you to end. And just like that, we get some cables back too, because we don't have to run the cables all the way over here. Or I will leave a, actually just one power tap over here, just in case we decide to put something else in. But just like that, bing, bap, bop, it's a zop, you know? We'll just fill that in with cobblestone. Okay, power's right underneath here. Won't be that hard to run a cable three feet, if that. All right, and then we're going to... And then we just need one more spruce plank. Bam, that system is gone. All right, we have put uh, we have automated that whole thing. So all we have to do is just dump just dump our stuff over into there. Uh, I do also want to go ahead and make just a normal enriching factory so we can automate this as well. Uh, but we also need to work on some speed upgrades for those. All right, guys, so we got this automated. Everything's good to go here. Uh, I did add in some of the uh, upgrades up here, the energy efficient ones. I did add another one here to this one. So this one's only taken 11.24, which is amazing. We could have a total of eight of these, I do believe. Yeah, so that will be amazing. I think it'll take two FE per tick without any speed upgrades. So that is phenomenal to have all of these smelting at the same time. The, the speed of that is gonna be phenomenal but we actually do require some more iron, and I just realized there was some there. So we can go ahead here and just knock away, because we don't get a whole lot of gold. We can just put some iron in here, and we can get that smelting up, so we can start automating the iron process. Beautiful, we'll just grab some cobblestone here to fill this in. All right, so I also want, these are this smelting uh, factory here. It's, I know it's like this, but we're going to have this one simply for automate automation. We're also going to throw in a uh, enriching chamber thingamabobber uh, because that's going to be legit. So I'm going to get these going over here because I want to go ahead and make that up right now. We'll get ooh. we'll get that going. Let's get a crafter going as well. Uh, ooh, these require the advanced processors, so these are going to be the last two that we can do, man. We're out of diamonds. I need to go mining and get some more. I got fortune two on this guy. I've been rebounding, or every time I hit 30 levels, I've been wiping out the old uh, enchant that I have and been re-enchanting that other one because I'm trying to get fortune three on a pickaxe. I want to get fortune three on one and... uh. Silk Touch on the other one, because Silk Touch has a special property in this mod pack that we'll go over in a later episode once I finally get it. That will help us out a heck ton. But let's see if we can get a good enchant here on this pick. So we're going to get this Soulbound off of this one. We're going to get the XP. All right. So you guys are with me. Why? Oh. I didn't know that blocked it. Okay. That's one where I did. Efficiency 4. Fortune 3, Fortune 3, Fortune 3. <sighs> ah, efficiency 4 soul bound. Sad times. Sad times. All right, level 29. So when I get to level 30, I'll do it again. All right, back to the crafter here. So, yep, we still have both of those. Whoops, we need one more of these. Shebang. And we just need one more of these. Shebang. So we should have our crafter all crafted up. <gasps> that was fun to say. Okay. <laughs> so if we come down here like so, we place this here. Yep, that does power on. Beautiful. If we also look here, yep, our steel has been done. So the enrichment chamber we can make. 
perfect. All right, uses. Shebang. Basic enriching factory. That's what's up. Okay, we don't have enough to do that right now, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to just stick with this one. Okay, so that's been placed there. We're gonna have to just move that cable over one more. That is okay. Actually, we need to do that now before I finish up what I'm doing here. So break you, break you, break you. There you go. And that will allow us to connect power to it. Beautiful. Huzzah. So now this thing has power. Beautiful. Awesome. Working great. Now all we need is an importer. This of Yahoo over here. We just need one more of these. Perfect. And Shadang. We got it. What is Shadang? I have no idea. But now this is technically automated. So anything we need to break down like coal. Uh, let's go ahead and test that out. Let's see how good it is. Auto sorts is on. Output there. Gonna grow these. Input it from the top. Oh, maybe that's not gonna work. Yeah, because this is making enriched carbon. Hmm, I don't know even what that's for, but that's not going to work, unfortunately. Okay, so we have other things we can pulverize, like we can get sand automated now from cobblestone. So we can go from cobblestone to gravel and gravel to sand. Right, uses if we go here. Crushing, obviously. Crusher enrichment chamber. That's not it. So the crusher is what we need for that. Okay, no worries. No worries. What do you do with with gravel, though? Oh, what do you about this? Oh. What is the enrichment chamber even used for? Do we even use it? Yeah, okay. We're fine. Okay, we're going to wrap up the episode for today. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this is Super Turtle, and I hope you had a fantastic one. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye. Wow, real quick. Whoa.